That's it, uh, this is GF Legible from GamerFusion.com, and as you know, guys, we've been trying to debate a couple things within the Vault of Glass. If we, um, if there's a six chest, if there's not a six chest, if there's a seventh chest, if there's you know different areas to explore, are we missing some type of chest? Are we not missing some chests? And all of this information, and uh, and you know, there's a couple statements. Some people saying. You know, Bungie came out and said that there's a lot of things that haven't been found in the Vaults of Glass. Other people are saying that Bungie said that there's no more chests. So everybody doesn't even know what Bungie says. I've asked multiple people to show me proof of either comment of where it says that Bungie did uh, say that there was more stuff to be discovered within the Vaults of Glass. And also, if there's proof where supposedly a Bungie employee came out and said that there was no more chests. None of this has happened and none of this has been shown to me. So we continue to search and look for the six chests or any clue that leads up to this. So we found something very, very interesting. As you know, guys, when you start the raid on hard, you will be able to fight uh, level 30 enemies, which, you know, is significant because the raid is level 30. Now, um, let me show you this in quick reference when you guys get these enemies right here uh, that start spawning. These guys will be level 30, just so you guys can know, just in case someone's watching this video and is like, oh, well, this guy doesn't even know what the heck he's talking about. So these guys right here are level 26, and the only way you're able to get level 30s is once you get within the raid itself. So uh, once you're in the raid, you're able to see level 30s, but I found something very interesting. Not only myself, uh, me and Replenish also found something very interesting as well. We thought, well, what would be, you know, what would be the reason why when uh, you're able to glitch this part, this portion of the map, and have it sync the plate? Is it a glitch? So while we were sitting here waiting for, the, you know, the glitch, we said, well, what's, what happens if we go further in here into Campus 9? And guess, guys, what we found. What we found is in Campus 9, you get level 30 enemy spawning, which is weird because there shouldn't be level 30 enemies here unless you're in the raid in particular. Because if you notice, the enemies that are taking the sink plate are level 26. They're not level 30s. The only way you get level 30 enemies is when you are within the actual raid itself. So this came up to give us the theory that this portion of the you know of the vault of glass is an area that hasn't been explored and hasn't been talked about. Uh, but it could be a great possibility that you need to do something within this area to spawn a vex gate. Now you're gonna probably be like, "What are you talking about a vex gate?" Well, let me show you guys an image of the glimmer card. As you guys know, the glimmer, the glimmer cards, or the glimmer cards, whatever you guys like to call it. Um, are cards that Bungie has come out and said that hold a very big key to the vault, not the Vault of Glass, but to the game Destiny. They play a very big component to the Vault of Glass. And as you guys know, in this area is where we find the Gate Lord, the guy that holds, uh, if you guys know in the mission, he's the one that we killed. It's kind of like a big Vex robot. And he's the one we killed in this area. As you guys notice, all these enemies right here, whoopsie, that was a big mistake. Let me respawn. As you guys notice right here, all these enemies right here that I'm trying to bypass are all level 30 enemies. All of them. See? All of them are level 30. So there is absolutely no reason why these guys should be level 30s if the people that are outside the sink plates are only level 26s. Uh, and uh, they should be level 30s, right? So that got us that got us to thinking, why would these be like this? But like I was saying, uh, the Gaylord is the one you guys uh, fight. He's a big Vex guy. Now... You know, the Glimmer cards, I will, like I, uh, before I get off topic, the Glimmer cards are very important when you're playing Destiny because they said it plays a key component to that. Now, if you reread the key, you know, we read the Glimmer card of the of the uh, main guy, the, the Gate Lord, the one we kill here. I just want to show you guys before anything when I go here where the Gate Lord is. Um, if we kill, once, once we kill him right here, let me just make my way through here real quick so you guys can know what I'm talking about. And what I'm referring this part right here, that's where he spawns. So let me read to you what the card says. And you guys will let me know. I'm going to put this up on the screen. You guys will let me know what do you think of this. It's something very interesting. I don't think a lot of people have discovered this or seen this. But it's very interesting, a few things. So it's, the intelligence we call Sindor seems to exist in a liminal state. Stretched between gates in the Vex network. It manifests as a physical being only when called. So the yellow parts are the ones that I want you guys to see. First it says, it says, Warlock Scholars, could this be that you need Warlocks to do this? 
please let me know in the comment section down below. What do you guys think when you guys are seeing this? Warlock scholars believe that the gate lords regulate traffic between vex gates and that their minds contain codes that might open a way to forbidden realms. Now, this is one part that caught my attention that and that their minds contain codes that may open the way into forbidden realms. Forbidden realms could be the actual vault of glass where you find Atheon and where you get the different types of vex gates because remember. There is a second platform on the jumpy puzzle where there's a broken down vex gate meaning that that could be the vex gate that opens up this portion but this is the funny part the last part is the one that really got me tripping and we're like i gotta make this video maybe people have and come across this and maybe we could all you know put our minds together and kind of you know get this six chest or get this portion of the map that we're missing a lot of people have been speculating that we are missing something in the vault of glass and this might be the key to that portion so it says an enormous amount of hope and anger have been spent on particular debate are they kind of saying that us you know gamers or us guardians have been spending a lot of hope and anger trying to figure this out and this is what we've been trying to figure out could we find a vex gate that opens onto a place and time before the collapse and somehow foresee it so that one holds the key right there, guys. Can we find a Vex gate that opens onto a place and time before the collapse? Yes, we can, because in the Vault of Glass, the two portals are the present and the future. So we found the 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 the, the, the gate, which is the past. So there's probably a secret within that gate that will allow us to foresee it all. Let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys think of this so far. I mean, we're really trying to find this and figure this out trying to see if we find the six chest and we don't find the six chest and we're missing a portion of the vault of glass if bungie came out and said that we're missing stuff out of the vault of glass then we this is probably tied in into the theory that maybe this is an area that we must explore in order to achieve the complete raid and get the full part of the vault of glass let me know all that stuff in the comment section down below i really guys want you guys to brainstorm and think if this could be something that really makes sense and this is probably an area that we must explore to figure this out all right guys this has been gf laser Boat from gamerfusion.com reminding you for all things destiny head over to gamerfusion where we empower your gaming <laughs>